I'm at the University of Melbourne's beautiful Burnley campus. As the city expanded, this campus has remained a precious sanctuary, despite being surrounded by fairly major roads and train lines. This little slice of green space was established as an experimental garden over 150 years ago. And there are some very impressive old trees planted in that era that tower above the campus. But today, I've got my eyes on the ground level, looking at some different styles of plantings used to edge pathways and garden beds. When you're choosing plants to act as a border in your garden, it really depends on what garden style you like. You can have something that's soft and tumbling over the edge, or you can have something that's more formal and clipped. I rather like this one, it's looser. And the things like sage and oregano are really good. Both edibles, they both have fragrant leaves and they're lovely to touch when you walk by. Beautiful. Pelargoniums are another good option because of their scented leaves and their colourful flowers. Roses always add colour and fragrance to a garden, but they're probably not ideal as a border plant because of their thorns. So tuck them a little bit further back and leave the front of the border with beautiful soft leafed plants. In a shady spot nearby is a delightful bush lily, Tripladenia cunninghamii, which is native to northern New South Wales and southern Queensland, but it's thriving here in Melbourne too. It flowers in early summer and has neat green foliage for the rest of the year. Some climbers are worth trying as ground cover edging too, such as this little Hibertia scandens trimmed into a neat low bush. And why not add a soft vertical element to a path edge by planting native grasses? This flowing mix of thick and fine-leafed lamandras, wallaby grasses and dainty wildflowers creates a relaxed, natural feel while also providing habitat. If you have a retaining wall, you might like to grow a cascading plant over it. In this case, it's the blue bindweed and it looks like a fabulous curtain. It is a very vigorous grower, so make sure you prune it back, and that's quite easy to do. Prostrate Rosemary does this well too, and while this bluestone is quite lovely, this would be a great way to hide a less attractive retaining wall, giving you a wall of foliage instead. The borders of your garden beds and your pathways give you an opportunity to add structure and colour and interest. So grab the opportunity and get a little bit edgy.